Hey, just yeah. a second, gang. We had, uh, for some reason, my software that captures Alan and I, it didn't capture. So I've got to reset. So I'll just hang on a second, Alan. Uh, Alan Berg is in the in the wings right now. He has got so much energy. He's so fired up because he has been uh, around the world today, literally. Uh, but for some reason, my screen capture didn't. <laughs> it didn't reset, so or it didn't go. So we are going to have to do this live. Uh, thank you for joining us out there on Facebook. I see people are jumping in and are getting to getting uh, in that. If you guys are going to have any questions or anything while we're on tonight, uh, please put those into the chat. I've got the chats from both Facebook and YouTube. They are there, so you can ask a question and I will see those. Ellen, I think we're ready here. We're going to move us over. Yes, you are there, my friend. Good evening. Oh, good evening. I, I was actually creating a post on an Australian photo booth uh, page. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice. Go, going live now. We are there we live. go. There it is. You said around the world, John, so I have to live up to that. Exactly. So so it's been a busy day for you today, Alan. Just for those who 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 first off they don't know who you are, give us give yeah. us the elevator speech and then what have you been doing today? I started in the wedding industry selling wedding advertising for a couple of wedding magazines. Uh, then ended up publishing the two wedding magazines. I worked for a little company called The Knot. Some of you might have heard of The Knot.com, a little so. company out there. Yeah. Uh, so I was vice president of sales and I was there for 11 years. Uh, I was their main speaker and educator. Um, I left there nine years ago. I used to kind of make a joke uh, and say that I untied The Knot. But yeah. <laughs> um, I see what you did there. It used to be funnier when I didn't consult for them, but now I do, so it's not quite as funny. But um, I've consulted to, for Wedding Wire and now again The Knot since they've merged. Uh, sites in Ireland, in England, in Dubai, in India, and in Australia. So Easy Weddings in Australia, anybody listening in from down there now? Um, because uh, they were sharing that down there. The uh, DJAA, the uh, Disc Jockey Association of Australasia, is uh, is in the house hopefully tonight as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so Serge, who's the uh, head guy over there, he, he was posting this. So thank you for tuning in. And Justin from Blo uh, BoothCon, yes. which is Australia. Uh, so I am a uh, consultant, speaker, author uh, for the wedding and event industry on the business of weddings and events. I do not talk about weddings. I do not talk about events. I talk about the business of weddings and events. That's all the stuff that happens that allows you to do the weddings and events. To get there, yep. <clears throat> right, because if you don't do the sales, if you don't do the marketing, if you can't close the deal, if you don't have a good website, <laughs> you're never going to get to that to, the, to do that stuff. So I speak about that. And, and, and funny, I've had people who are in the industry and out, like have two, two feet, you know, their one foot is in the industry, one foot is in some other job they have, or, or their spouse or partner is doing something else. And, and they're like, wait a minute, everything you said applies to my business too. Oh yeah, because I speak about business. Mm -hmm. I don't speak about weddings or events. So uh, I've written five books. Notice my crown here, John. Yeah, I like crown? that. I like that. Just kind of this <clears> little... Like that that's like that. Awesome. Um, so I've written five books. Uh, my website book, if your website was an employee, would you fire it? Um, by the way, I'm writing a sixth book now. It's going to be called Five Signs It's Time to Fire Your Website. Um, your Attitude for Success. Uh, why Don't They Call Me, which is how to respond to inquiries. So if you're getting ghosted and stuff, there's that. Uh, Shut Up and Sell More Weddings and Events, my most popular book to date. And uh, my latest book, which is Wit, Wisdom, and the Business of Weddings. So I've written these books, uh, Tambien, uh, Todo Mis Libros Disponible en Español. So all of my books are available in Spanish, uh, a language that I taught myself starting in about uh, 2013. I've presented now in five countries, uh, six if you count a Facebook, Instagram Live I did for a group of wedding planners in Peru since the lockdown. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm actually doing French lessons now, but not to present in French, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, as you can tell, I, I'm a very unambitious person. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What do you, what, yeah. Don't what do you really do to keep yourself busy? I mean, you just, yeah, I, I, I just, what I, am I, I going to do with all this free time? Uh, so, uh, I, I, I consult with businesses one-on-one. -on -one. Um, one of the things I challenged everybody back in, I think it was the early April, I did a webinar. Uh, you remember the early days, John, when uh, the early days of the lockdown, kind of this, we we're trying to figure this out and, mm -hmm. Every single Zoom call or whatever was, pardon me, but was people bitching. Pretty right? much. Pretty much. <clears throat> yep. And you know me long enough to know that I'm a optimist. Mm -hmm. I'm a positive guy. I'm a glass half full type guy, right? This is glass half full, even though it's really not half full. <laughs> Although was. a friend of mine, if you're a science nerd 
A friend of mine pointed out that it's the glass full. is always full because it is sometimes full with air. Again. Right? So it is always full. But that's a real nerdy type of thing. I prefer to say that the optimist says that the glass is half full. The pessimist says the glass is half empty. But the engineer says the glass is just twice as big as needed for this application. <laughs> and that's my nod to Ben Stowe. Yeah, I was going to so say, that was, that's a Ben Stowe appreciation there. <laughs> ben would I actually gave Ben a shout out today on, I think it was Joe Bunn's podcast. Yeah. Uh, so when you ask what I've been doing today that's at 11 o'clock, I was on with a, a, a client of mine and they have DJs all over the country. I was on with the complete weddings group, hmm, 12 yes. o'clock, Joe Bunn's podcast, two o'clock with the pro mobile group in the UK, three o'clock, Greg Ellis's podcast, four o'clock with the DJ Drax and the ADJA. Uh, eight o'clock with the Canadian professional DJs and the Fiesta Resistance. And here we are wrapping up today. Here, here we are and with DJ NTV. Excellent. Uh, so, um, so, uh, so I was on with Joe Bonner. We we're talking, and and I said I actually have a T-shirt that Ben Stowe gave me at the Las Vegas DJ show. At the uh, what, what? What was the hotel called? It used to be the Hilton. Became the whatever. Uh, it's not. It's yeah. still the Hilton building. Uh, <clears throat> Westgate. Westgate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The last time I stayed there, I was because I left because of the mold in my bathroom. But that's another story. That's always a fun um, game. To, what to identify what the mold is by its color? I love that's that right. Game. You know, funny, funny, not so funny. I was in the bathroom and I thought that the wallpaper had this interesting gradient pattern that started dark and went lighter as it went up the wall, uh, and realized that that was the mold. Uh, so, uh, okay, not not so fun. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm at the Las Vegas DJ show. I'm at my booth. I'm talking to some people and Ben's walking by with some people. And you remember Radio Shack. Some of us remember Radio Shack. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I had a, a recorder that I was recording my speeches, but the sound boards were putting out too hot of a, an output. Mm -hmm. So I went to Radio Shack and I said to this kid, I need a 10 dB line attenuator. And he looked at me like I had seven heads. <laughs> and Ben is walking by and he heard me and he looks at me and he goes, He's one of us. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of us. So because I because I said the words, the, the key words that uh, the, the, I whispered sweet nothings that I need a 10 dB line attenuator. And they, I went back to my booth the, the next morning and there was a, you know, his geek T-shirt. Have you seen the geek oh, T-shirt? Yes, yes. I love the geek T-shirt. The geek T-shirt was there. Ben, I wear it all the time. I wear it so much that the it's like falling apart. You know, the geek part is falling off of that. So I'm going to have to buy one to replace that. But yeah, so I, I am a geek uh, at heart. I'm a musician. Uh, you Have you seen my music uh, I have. videos? I have. <clears throat> so uh, a little fun fact. Uh, early on, I did a webinar called 10 Proactive Things You Can Do Now to Lean In. Mm -hmm. Because it was my countering all of the negative voices that were out there. And what can you do? All right, so 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 business is down. You're going to be not going to be doing the things you're going to be doing. What are you going to do? Right. You're going to sit and cry. I don't want to hear it. Right. It, you know, we we had our pity parties. Pity party's over. You want to have a pity party? Please don't invite me. Okay. I'm, I'm not trying to be harsh. I'm just saying that doesn't get us anywhere. We did that. We all did that. Right. It was the seven stages of grief. Right? Yeah. Right? We went through that. It was a tough and, weekend. It was a really tough weekend. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Uh, and, and listen, it's affecting me like it's affecting you. Mm -hmm. uh, I flew 140,000 miles last year. I haven't been on a plane since March 13th, right? Five months ago. I'm waiting for United Airlines to send me a we miss you card, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting us them to send a sympathy card to my wife saying, "We're, you know, obviously he's dead. <laughs> Yeah, you, you should have. Uh, yeah, can't be. Uh, and, and I was uh, the Hilton Diamond and a Marriott Titanium. And like all these people, are like where where is he? Uh -huh, where, uh -huh. where is he? He's not here. So I did this webinar to challenge people to what can you do that's positive? What can you do that that's proactive? And that webinar for me was one of the proactive things. Sure. Uh, I have another one which I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about soon. But uh, I've seen a lot of DJs out doing live stuff on Facebook. Right? They're they're out, and I was like, that's very cool. So I was speaking to a friend of mine who's a videographer in Philadelphia. And we were talking about stuff like that. And we were at a, a video conference years ago and we're going to meet for dinner. And he comes down to the lobby and he doesn't see me, but he hears piano playing and he's looking around and he's like, Oh, you know, I don't see Alan, but let me go see who's playing the piano. Mm -hmm. And it was me. Sure. <laughs> so he's like, Whoa, you know, cause he didn't know that I played and didn't know that I actually played well enough to, you know, get on a piano in the lobby of a hotel. And play, right. right? <clears throat> so he said, you should put up a piano video. I was like, 
no, no. The DJs are doing what they do, right? They're DJs. They're doing what they do. He goes, yeah, but but it, it's really good. It's Some people don't know about you. And Yeah, like, yeah. So finally, he twisted my arm. I was like, all right. So I put out the uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, right? Beautiful song. Pretty much everybody should know that song. I don't think I'm going to offend anybody with that song, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I put it up, and people are like, what? Like, I didn't know you played, yes. right? Mind you, if I'm at a conference and there's a piano and it's not locked, it's probably getting played. I don't care if it's on a stage or in the lobby or whatever. <laughs> I've played pianos all over the world. I played, I played piano on stage at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, I've played on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. I've played uh, on in, on Vegas on the Strip, not on the Strip Strip, but, uh, yeah, yeah. but it, on Las Vegas Boulevard. I, I've I've played uh, a few times. So it's. Just something that some people know, some people don't. So I put this up there and people are like, well, that's great. Do another one. Mm -hmm. So put another one. And about the third one, people are, are putting these comments in, hey, where's your tip jar? <laughs> like tip jar. <laughs> tip. I, I'm that's not looking for tips. I right? that, I'm not looking for tips. And then I remembered, wait a minute, but you can put a charity link, right? Facebook lets you put a charity yeah, link. Yeah, yes. So I, I had just seen another TV report of the food bank lines. Mm. And, uh, and actually in our town, uh, yeah, in our town, they had put out a message to, to, to the town, hey, the food bank could really use some help. So we made a, a monetary donation, but then we also went into our pantry and looked for things that were not expired because they won't take anything that's expired, but things that, you know, maybe they were expiring sooner. We just hadn't opened it yet. Mm -hmm. And we're like, you know what? I would hate to have this go past expiration. I can't give it away. Right. So we got a whole bunch of stuff that was coming up soon. And then we're just throwing other stuff in the bags and whatever. And so much got collected by our town, just way more than they expect. And it, it just makes you feel good. Yeah. And, and in doing so, there also they were talking about how there was a big shortage of the PPE, you know, the masks and the yeah. and stuff. And I was in my workshop. And uh, if you've watched my feed, which I know you see some of my feed with the piano, you also see some DIY projects, right? Yes. We're doing woodworking and stuff. Yes. And I was going to do some woodworking and I went into a cabinet in my garage and I found a new unopened box of five N95 masks. And when we went to donate for the food bank, it was behind the municipal building and the police station is in the municipal building. Okay. So when we went and donated to the food bank, we also donated, my wife went into the police station with this box of five masks and said, hey, you guys need these more than we do, mm -hmm. right? What can you do to, to to feel like you're making a difference? To feel, I mean, again, that's a little difference, but when they're saying, hey, we're reusing our masks over and over again and we can give them five new ones, that's something. When oh, we can yeah. donate to the food bank, that's something. We can do something. So I started putting these tip jars out. Well, fast forward a few months and we're just shy of $1,400 collected. Wow. Right now, not collected to me, but for these for different the, yeah, things. For the thing, yeah. I did food banks. Um, so I was, uh, uh, you, know, you know, Jim Cerrone. Yes. <clears throat> so uh, did you see the duet Jim and I did? I, no, I missed that one. So I reached out to Jim and I said, Jim, you're a fantastic singer. I can play. What do you want to sing? And he chose all of me. So I played it. He sang it. He put the video together. Oh, I got to duet it. is up. I'll, I'll have to find that one. <clears throat> A friend of mine, speaker friend in uh, Kansas City, she would sing with me at uh, speaker conferences, mm -hmm. and she loves singing Patsy Cline. So we did um, uh, Crazy. So I played Crazy. She recorded it, put the video together that's up there. I have a friend in California who I sent him his recording. Won't say what that is yet. We'll put that up. <laughs> um, have another friend in North Carolina who plays guitar. He's a pro actually a professional musician. And I said, hey, what do you want to do? <clears throat> Let's do something together. But we raised you know, almost $1,400, mostly food banks. Uh, I did put up the ASPCA one time because um, I, I, I did with a, a friend who I knew was, uh, actually it was a friend of mine who uh, their pet had passed away mm -hmm. and uh, they were feeling a little down. So I put up a song to make them feel better and did that and we got that. So, but crazy, $1,400. You know, just from that, so it makes you feel like you're doing something. Different. Yeah, for so, sure. Um, so wait, let me uh, let me share my screen here if I can. Yep, go right go. ahead. And for those of you in the in the uh, watching on Facebook or on YouTube, I just shared the link of Alan's videos on his Facebook page, where you guys can go out there and check out his goodness. I think you've got fifteen, tw yeah, about twenty 
20 yeah, videos uh, with it's, the piano. It, it, is, it, it, it is crazy there. And I take requests. Um, if you do make a request, uh, I do ask that you uh, put something in the tip jar. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. Because anytime I put one up, John, I put the first $10 in the tip jar. Um, it's kind of like when a piano player puts some stuff in there to make it look like they got tips. Yep. The only difference is I don't get this back. Yeah, it actually it, is going <laughs> get it to the, pro, the group. Thing. It is going over there. Excellent. Um, yeah, no, it, it, it's crazy. And now, Bill Herman sings, right? We've yes, seen him at does. conferences. Yes. I'm trying to get Bill Herman to do a duet with me, and he hasn't given me a song yet. So if anybody can remember a song that they heard Bill sing at a conference, just message me what that song is, and I will goad him into it. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've heard him a few times, so, so there's, a, okay. there's a couple of them. Okay. I figured DJs would remember the songs oh. there. So I, I think um, I have footage of a couple of those from way back in the day when we were doing shows at Prior Lake, which would have been ah, uh, there you go. <clears throat> nearly 20 years ago. There you go. Oh. There you go. Uh, I do not do, I, I, I do sing, but my playing is much better than my singing. But there is one singing video. It was the day that, that Bill Withers died. Hmm. And I, I had to do a Bill Withers song and I, I sang. So um, I, I did lean on me, and uh, and I sang it. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Uh, but mostly, what I talk about is I talk about sales, and I, so think about <clears throat> the different groups that you're having right now that you're dealing with. You're dealing with your current customers for later this year that you're having to deal with. Are we postponing? Are we moving ahead? And Gosh, you know, it's a moving target. Like I live in New Jersey and we still can't have an indoor event. There's no indoor dining. They never opened it up. They didn't open and close it. They never opened it up. Sure. Uh, they were going to, and then they shut it down because people are not playing nice. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The people that are not playing nice are making it worse for the rest of us. So let's just all play nice here and let's, let's do the right thing. Um, so when it comes to those customers, you need to be proactive. You don't want to find out that the couple has moved their date and then you find out you're not available. So you should be proactively reaching out. Hey, what are you guys doing? Are you still sticking with the date? Have you thought about moving? Have you talked to your venue? Whatever. Be part of the solution instead of a victim of their decision. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Definitely want to do that. But let's talk about the new leads. There are new leads coming in and those new leads coming in, if they don't bring up what if, or the virus or masks or social distancing or whatever, don't talk about it. John, you've heard me speak long enough to know that you've heard me talk about reducing the friction. Yes. When you talk about things that they aren't interested in talking about, you're adding friction to the process or you're creating a distraction, at least creating a distraction, if not actually adding enough friction to lose the sale. So if they're not talking about the virus, they're not talking about social distancing and masking and stuff like that, don't talk about it. If they ask about it, be prepared to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Be confident when you talk about it. Uh, one of the things that I, I speak about a lot is if you agree with someone or agree with the premise of their objection, empathize, not sympathize, you can diffuse the objection in a much, much easier way instead of being confrontational. So if somebody says, well, what if you know we have to move the date? And you go, well, why do you ask that? That's confrontational. But if somebody says, well, what if we have to move the date? I'm so glad you asked. We've been working with our couples and we've been had people, we had to move dates, people we weren't sure, and then we had to move it. So I'm so glad you asked because it's great that we can be proactive with you. Right. That is a very confident way of talking Certainly. about it instead of confrontational way of talking about it. Or like, oh, I don't know, you know that would be the worst, <laughs> the worst answer over there. Because people buy from people, they don't buy from companies. No one has ever bought from your company, John. They've bought from you or whoever. Right. No one has ever bought. If you're a multi-op, they didn't buy from the company. They bought from the salesperson. If you're a single op, well, they bought from you, you and your company. And, and I think you've probably heard me say this, John, but I relate to DJs so well because my business, you know, forget the music part of it, but my business as a solopreneur is like a solo op, you know, single op DJ. Right. Yep. You're selling yourself. Right? I'm selling myself. I can only be in one place at a time, right? It, it, there's so many parallels. It, mm -hmm. it, it's really crazy. Um, and then again, I'm also one of you guys. So, you know, I, I needed a 10 dB at the line attenuator. So there, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I have the shirt and, to prove it. And I have my cool microphone. There we go. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> well, you are in nighttime, right? I can be the I can put on my nighttime. DJ That's right. You can. You can. You can do that, and you know you can dim those lights down. You were showing us earlier today. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, I did have to turn the air conditioning down cooler because it was just. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I normally have just the LED in front of me, but when I'm doing webinars and stuff, I want the really good lighting. So there's two 300 watt LEDs. There's three 100 watt in the ceiling, and then there's another LED in front of me. So I'm, I'm this, this color. This is actually sunburn. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's LED burn from today. That's LED, LED burn from today. <clears throat> so when you're dealing with the new customers, you you want to you know. Uh, not talk about this, actually any customer, don't talk about the things that they're not asking about. If you want to maybe talk about a subject, you want to ask a question rather than talking about the subject, because if you, if you shouldn't go down that road, you want to know that before you start going down the road. It's kind of like, uh, you know, if, if there's a sign that said entering minefield, you would like to know where the mines were. Certainly. So, not asking the questions is going to maybe step on some of those uh, proverbial minds there. So let's talk about getting ghosted. By the time you get that inquiry, think about what's happened. Uh, John, how many DJs would you say, and I, you don't live in as, as metropolitan an area as I do, <clears throat> within an hour's drive, an hour and a half drive, how many DJs would you say there are? I'd probably put us in a three to 400 range. Okay. By the time you get an inquiry, 95% of those, 98% of those are no longer on the list of that couple. Oh, yes. Right? Or that company, or that kinsei, or that mitzvah parent, they're not, or that school. They're not on the list anymore. They've done their research. They've looked at reviews. They've watched videos. They've looked at photos. They've gone to social media. They looked at your websites. They looked at your ads, whatever it is. We don't know, but we know that whatever they looked at, whatever they heard, whatever they watched, whatever they saw, they liked. Mm -hmm. Why would they take the next step if they didn't like that? For sure. So, so by the time they reach out, you need to make sure that you are following up enough to get the sale. <clears throat> Joe Bunn had me on about six weeks ago, I think, on his podcast, and we talked about getting ghosted. After the podcast, I got an inquiry from a DJ, happened to be in New Jersey, which is where I live also, but... We did a remote consultation. He didn't want to join one of these group ones. I, I've created group uh, gr group sales training and group website reviews. So I have something at a much lower price point, And I actually have a special offer for your listeners. So yep. stay tuned for that. Um, but he wanted to do a private session, which I do those as well. Actually, I have one coming up uh, on Wednesday with somebody. And we looked into how he's responding to inquiries, email inquiries, his website, wedding wire, the knot, all those things. We're sharing a screen. I'm logged in as him on the knot, and I'm looking at his reply. Mm -hmm. Very common reply. He copied and pasted the reply. He tweaked it to be personal to their venue, their date, attached his brochure PDF, asked for a meeting or a phone call at the end of his message. And guess what? He didn't hear back. Nothing. Yep. That was it. <clears throat> it's very common. Now, let's run down the list of what he did wrong of why he got ghosted. Okay. He did right. He responded quickly. He did right that he ended with a question, but the question was the wrong question. He asked for a meeting right away. He asked Certainly. for a call right away. If they wanted a meeting or a call, they would have said, hi, can we set up a meeting? Right? They didn't do that. All right. He copied and pasted. Now, what's wrong with copy paste? Well, in a vacuum, looking just at his response, it looks pretty good. But when I do secret shopping, and I've secret shopped a lot of DJs, venues, caterers, bridal shops, you name it, we've secret shopped. When I see your quote unquote personalized response, it looks a lot like everybody else's. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. Yes. <laughs> it really does. Congratulations on your recent engagement. We're so happy to let you know that fill in the date is it's available cool. at your fill in the date venue, right? It sounds personal when you look at it on its own, but when you see all the others, it looks pretty much like the rest of those. Okay. So that was not right. He attached a PDF. What's wrong with that? A couple of things. First thing wrong with that, attachments can trigger spam filters. Now this happened to be inside Wedding Wire at the Knot, so it's not likely to do that. The attachment is not formatted for a phone screen. The attachment is formatted for paper Print that out. size. Yes. 
I will tell you this. I did a group sales training session and there was a guy from Australia that was on the session and he formatted his PDF for phone size. I had never seen that before. Mm -hmm. Now, I appreciate the effort that he went to to format it for the phone screen. I said, you know what I would have preferred is that you just put it on a responsive web page. Could be a hidden page, but put it on a responsive web page. It'll adapt to any screen. Mm -hmm. You won't have to make it fit the phone screen. You can make it fit any screen. So, <clears throat> but again, he, he made that effort. But this guy didn't. His were eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. If you're down in uh, Australia, New Zealand, up in Canada, whatever, it was A4, you know, A4 paper. And yeah, I have to make the conversion, right? I was like, going to say that, that that one I know because of the newspaper, you know, that's how that's we, right. we have to. That's right. You have to have different, different one there. I, was, yeah. I, I did a group in the UK today and we were comparing how warm it was and it was 33 Celsius over there and it was Ooh. 32 Celsius over here, which is, it was over 90 degrees. Yeah, yeah it was warm. <laughs> that's it, it was, warm. It was warm. Yeah, it, it was uh, here in New Jersey. It was uh, uh, 91 feels like 99, right? Yeah. I was glad I was in the AC today, although in my office, it felt like it was 99. So, <laughs> so th there you go. So the, the PDF does a couple of things. The PDF implies that the information they need is in the document, but it's not. The information they need is in your head. The information they need is what you're going to tell them because you're going to talk about the results of doing business with you. You're going to talk about the results that they want at their wedding, event, school, uh, mitzvah, kinsei, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. That's the results that they want. That's not in your PDF because I've seen your PDFs. Now, if you did not have a professional design your PDF, you're losing business from it already because John, you know, and I know you go to an event, you go to a bridal show, you go to a, a conference, somebody gives you a business card, a brochure, or marketing piece. You can tell immediately if they use the professional designer, right? Mm -hmm. For sure. And you can tell if they didn't. If they're compare, remember, they're not looking just at yours. If they're comparing yours to somebody who had it done professionally by a designer, they automatically stand above you. Yes. Invest in your business the way you want other people to invest in you. Right? My stuff, and I know, John, you've seen a lot of my stuff here. Yeah. Right, come on. What's getting caught on there? Right? All done. Professional designers. Professional designer. Right? Yep. This is, you look at this and you're like, okay, you didn't do this yourself, right? You're good, but you're not that good, right? <laughs> that's what you're thinking. <clears throat> that's what, I know, it's okay. It's all right. I, I, that's good. It's all right. It, I, I'm okay with it because my younger son is my graphic designer. And if you're saying, hey, but you don't have to pay for that. Oh, yeah, I paid $140,000 for his education. I paid for it. You paid for it, okay? yeah. I paid for it. I'm just trying to get my money back. <laughs> <laughs> so the PDF is not a sales piece. It's an informational piece. They can't make the sale for you because I can't put my credit card in and buy. All it can do is then get you to inquire. Wait a minute. You already did that. <laughs> you already did that. Why am I trying to get you to make an inquiry when you made an inquiry and now I send you something that's going to make you have to come back and inquire again? Sure. It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at this one and a month had gone by since she had inquired. Now, John, you know my book. Why don't they call me? I talk about responding at least five times before you even think about giving up. Yep. Right. And somebody was mentioning today that oh, Drax was mentioning that Scott Favor. You know, he's he'll reach out thirty times to somebody, thirty-five times. Right. Ooh. He he's not giving up until he gets a yes or a no, which is really the, the key here. Yeah. So, but this guy was one and done. I'm like, oh my gosh, one and done. Imagine, John, you're the customer. Okay. It's nine o'clock at night or, or ten o'clock at night. You're looking on a website. You're like, all right, I'm not going to call them now. So you fill out the contact form. Okay. You go to bed. The next day, there's a response from them. But as is typical with us, you open up your inbox and blew, the water flow is coming in. And you're dealing with all this stuff. I call the today list versus the to-do list. Your today list is all those emails and all those things you need to do. And you have to go to press on the, on the, on the newsletter. Or you have to, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So you don't get back to them. Don't you want them to try again, right? Don't you want them to say, hey, John, you know, you, 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 here's the information you want, or can I give you some more information, right? Yeah, certainly. And then if they do and you're still busy, don't you want them to try again and say, hey, at least they ask, hey, you're still interested, right? You're still looking, right? Mm -hmm. Not asking a lot. They've eliminated 
hundreds of DJs in your area by the time you got that inquiry. What, what, what is Tinder? Swipe left is the bad thing, I think. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, no, nobody, no, no married person certainly ever wants to say, admit to that. I, I've heard the phrase swipe left. So I'm, I yeah, think third, it's, third party. Somebody told me one time, yeah. this millennial once told me at yeah. a conference that it's swipe left. So there you go. Yeah, so it is, it is swipe left. So why would you give up that easy? So here's what I did. I'm logged in as him on the knot. I see this response that he did. He got no response, but you can see there's little check marks. She's read it. Okay. All right. So I said, you know what? I want to get a no or a yes. It's been a month. So I sent her. Here's what I sent. Hi, Jennifer. Are you still looking for a fun DJ to wake, make your wedding great? Question mark and his name. Okay. So we go back to talking. Three minutes later, no exaggeration. Three minutes later, I get back. Yes. <laughs> okay. So she's not very wordy, which I talk about in my book and I've talked about in my training. Yes. Mirror yeah. how much they write, right? All that. So I wrote back and said, oh, that's fantastic. Um, have you uh, secured your venue and your date yet? Okay. She comes back and says, yes, here's the venue. Here's the date. I said, do you know the venue? He goes, yeah. I said, have you worked there before? He said, yeah. I said, is it a nice venue? He said, it's beautiful. I said, oh, that's great. Such a beautiful venue. We've worked there many times before. You're going to be so happy with that. Are you having both your ceremony and reception at the venue? Okay, send it. A few minutes later, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So she's not exactly verbose. Okay, mm -hmm. good. But I'm mirroring, right? So I said, that's great. They have a beautiful outdoor ceremony area. We can provide great ceremony sound if you need it. How many guests are you expecting to attend? She comes back and she said, whatever, whatever the number was. I said, is that your invitation list or is that what you're expecting to actually attend? So now she comes back and says, whatever. But we're getting this really good back and forth relatively quickly. Because mm -hmm. I mean, how many times do you get somebody responding in minutes, right? Right. <clears throat> okay. Mine after they ghosted you a month ago. <laughs> so then I said, you know what? Let me try something. I'd love to find out more about you guys and how I can help make your wedding the most fun and the most memorable that you and your guests have ever seen. Could I give you a quick call now or would later today be better? I like Choice it. closed. Choice yeah. of two. Choice of two. Okay. She comes back and says, I can't talk now. Later today would be better. I said, six o'clock or seven o'clock? She said, six o'clock, gives me her number, right? Excellent. He calls her six o'clock that night, makes the sale. Mm -hmm. Now, what did I do? The first is I tried again. Now, he shouldn't have waited a month. And think about this, John. A month went by. Yeah. Surprising that he's still able to. <clears throat> How many other DJs gave up and could have had that sale? Yeah. If the day before, somebody else got to her instead. If a week before somebody got to her instead, if two weeks before somebody got to her instead, but you know what? None they all of, gave up. Yeah, none of them did. They all said, I'm getting ghosted. Now, why did she ghost him the first time? Maybe because of the email, the message, maybe because of the PDF, who knows, right? Maybe she was busy, maybe trying to figure out this work from home thing, right? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Maybe she had COVID. I don't know, right? Maybe a family member, maybe, maybe she's a frontline worker. Who knows, right? Yeah. Okay. But we tried again. He got the sale. You remember my one of my favorite phrases? If you don't ask, the answer is always no. Yeah. So back in April, I challenged everybody, what are you doing differently? Are you creating different packages? Are you adapting to what's going on? Mm -hmm. I was talking to a group this morning and I said, you know, one of my clients, a venue, was talking about live streaming weddings. And I, I said, yeah, that's great. Are you thinking about live streaming in and out? And he goes, what do you mean? I said, well, you want to live stream it so grandma that shouldn't come now because she's high risk doesn't come. But what if grandma wants to say a few words? Are you going to stream grandma in? Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, I never thought about that. Well, are you selling DJ services, which the person who's having a 25 person, I can't have dancing wedding now long, no longer needs you? Or are you selling a, a group of services that provide a result that they want. They still want a beautiful ceremony. They're going to want people to see that ceremony, hear that ceremony. Maybe there's dancing, maybe not. Maybe it's socially distant, right? But they still want to have music. They still are going to need lighting and decor. 
They still want to have a result, which is amazing, memorable wedding. So what else can you do, mm. right? What other things, what other activities, what other stuff can you do? Or are you just going to sit back? Uh, there's a great book called Who Moved My Cheese. You ever read that book? I love Jen? that book. Yep. Yeah. So if, if you're having trouble with figuring out what's going on, read Who Moved My Cheese because it will, it will help you. Um, <clears throat> so when I challenged everybody to do something proactive, part of what I've done is the piano stuff. We've raised a lot of money. Yep. Um, part of what I've done is adapting my business to a more remote virtual world instead of flying 140,000 miles a year. I've been home for five months and I'm not exaggerating, John. I have not been home this much in a row in decades. I don't mean like years. I mean decades. Yeah. I got into this business over 25 years ago. In the beginning, I didn't travel. I did local. I just drove and came home every night. So since... Well, at least when I was at the Knot, so nine years, thats I started at the Knot in 2000, so 20 years ago. Yeah. So I was doing a little bit of traveling when I started then, right? I did very little before that. But for the past 20 years, I've traveled at least a little. And the past few years, I've traveled over 100,000 yeah. miles flying every year. I was away 178 nights last year. Doofle. I haven't been in a hotel in five months. <laughs> I was supposed to be in one last week. I was going to had a, a mastermind day that was in April, moved to June, moved to August. Mm -hmm. We found a venue that had a pavilion, really nice pavilion, open on three sides. Yeah. So we could have a nice open air thing, right? We were going to bring fans because it was in Maryland in the summer, so it's hot, right? And then the hurricane came up the East Coast. <laughs> oh, no. So now we're looking at August... 26. So if anybody's in that area and wants to join us, we still have a couple of seats, but we couldn't even, we, we finally decided we can have a live event and then we couldn't have a live event because of a hurricane. hurricane. So it's like <laughs> one, one more thing on oh, top of that. Fine. But one of the things that I, I've done is uh, I've written five books. Uh, all my books, Total Mis Libros, Tambien Disponible en Español. So all my books are available in Spanish. I've presented in, uh, in 14 countries, five of them in Spanish, six if you count an Instagram live I did for a group of wedding planners in Peru uh, since the lockdown in Spanglish. That was kind of Spanglish. I'll, I'll call that Spanglish. Um, but you know, I, I wrote this book, Shut Up and Sell More Weddings and Events, and it was, it's been my most popular book. <clears throat> and I promised you a big announcement. You did. Something I've been thinking about. When I wrote this book, I thought about there are... 14, the average wedding uses anywhere from 11 to 14 different vendors, right? When you just go through all the different categories there, right? Invitations and dresses and tuxedos and transportation, go all F celebrants all the way, all the way through everything. So my book is for all of them. And if you've read the book, you know that I speak about photographers and venues and right. caterers and florists and whatever. And I, and I have different references and I rotate through so everybody felt included. Right. Yeah. But if you're looking at a, a like wording about how to how to handle an objection, like you're the first one we've seen, you're the first DJ we've seen. But in the book, it says you're the first florist we've seen. You'll have to read between the lines to change the wording to apply to you. And I said, you know what? One of these days, if I ever have the time, you ever say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, if, no. I ever, if I ever have the time, I would love to do category specific editions where I change the references and I change all the wording so it is for that category. So if you're looking at how do I handle the objection, you're the first DJ I've seen, or you're the first caterer I've seen, you wouldn't have to read between the lines because it would be your category. Right. And I've finally been able to do that, and we are announcing today worldwide the world premiere of Shut Up and Sell More Weddings and Events for DJs. Excellent. DJs, lighting, entertainers, photo booths, this is the one for you. Now, full disclosure, if you read the original book, it's the same book. I've added a little bit to it, but not enough for me to call it a new book. But mm. all of the references, all of the wording, all of the how to handle the objections. Uh, and you know in this book, it, I give you specific wording. I actually give you the wording how to respond to an inquiry. I give you the wording how to respond to objections, how to handle them and different things. So that, that's in there. <clears throat> and it was, but wait, there's more, right, John? Is that the commercial? <laughs> I was going to say yes. And for a limited time. <clears throat> for a limited time, <clears throat> I've actually been able to figure shipping now internationally, not just domestically. Oh, wow. 
So shopallenberg.com is my is my shop, right? Mm-hmm. Allenberg.com is my website, but shopallenberg.com. So DJAA BoothCon down in Australia. I can ship to Australia. Um, I can ship to the States. And if you use the coupon code DJNTV, you will get free shipping, even to Australia, even to uh, 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 to UK. Uh, John, you have people listening from all over, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Actually, I saw a couple of people, um, one from, I think we have in Italy, somebody from Italy with us tonight, and Portugal that I saw also. Okay. Italy, I definitely put on my site. Portugal, I did not add the wording yet, uh, not add the shipping yet, but I can do that. So if you are from Portugal and did want to get a copy of the book, uh, just email alan at allenberg.com. Let me know that and I will add the shipping in on that as well. So I'll, here's the coupon code is DJNTV. And here's what you do. You go to my website, shopallenberg.com. And if you're in the U.S., choose the U.S. delivery up on the top or international. So choose the one that's right for you. And what that'll do is that'll give you the, the products that are available in your area. For the U.S., I have a few more products that are available in the U.S. than are available in some of the other countries. Uh, if you are in Europe, my books are available on Amazon. Nice. Um, uh, I think they're I think they're in every country. Not sure, but again, I can I can get the shipping here. And then in uh, for the international, what I've done is I put together some special bundles. You're not going to get this on Amazon. So if you don't have any of my books, you can get a three book bundle, and you're actually going to save five dollars and get free shipping. Nice. And if you don't have the two latest, you can get those two and get free shipping. So here's what you do. When you go into the book, the individual books, I have some special things. So let's say you're a Mm multi-op. You can get a five book or a 10 book bundle. We call it the book club bundle. So that's actually an additional savings on top of this. And then if you choose the bundle, make sure you choose the disc jockey edition. Otherwise you'll get the regular book or (laughs) you might get the caterer version uh, (laughs) if you want that, which actually isn't available internationally yet. Uh, Although I had somebody, if you're in the States, I had somebody uh, earlier today, a DJ, I mentioned this. I said, you know, that upstream, if you're not getting referred as much by venues and caterers and photographers and stuff, what if you bought a gift idea? Yes. What if you bought the caterer and venue edition? Because if they sell more, then you get referred more. Right. Right. So help feed them. I actually had a DJ in Northern California up in wine country. I did a mastermind day and he came, he was part of it. But then he said, listen, when are you going home after the mastermind? And I said, I'm, I'm, I was in California. I wasn't going home. I was driving down to San Francisco. He said, would you be able to do a half a day for me? Now, I normally don't do half days in person because the fly there and back, it, it's shooting my whole day anyway. Mm-hmm. So, But I was in town. So I said, yeah, I could do a half a day. So he paid me to spend a half a day with wedding planners and venues. He paid. Mm-hmm. He had special editions of shut up and sell more. And we put his logo on the cover. So they walked away with shut up and sell more. And they had spent three or four hours with me. Mm -hmm. Who are they going to refer? Oh yeah. Now, if there were, I think there were about, there were about a dozen people, but there were maybe eight or nine businesses represented. What if every one of those businesses referred him one sale? Yeah. Home run. Jeez. Like home, serious home run, right? Poor serious home run. The difference is he was willing to make the investment in the books and in having me do it. And that's why he gets the sale. You have to be willing to make those investments because you don't know if they're going to pay off unless you do. He was pretty sure they would, but there you go. So, so now here's what I want you to do. You L- go into to L- add L- coupon code. Hang on a sec before you go there. Yeah. That caterers and, <clears throat> and event version. When did you release that one? Caterers and events, I actually released last month. Okay, so it's it's been out there. So for a lot of people out there who are watching this tonight, it probably isn't in their market yet. That, oh, they, they don't know about it, no. They don't know about yeah. it. So buying 10 books and, and visiting your 10 favorite venues mm-hmm. and saying, hey, I've got a little thing for you. Right, and if you, if you buy them uh, in the U.S., because again, that's in the U.S. now, if you want them internationally, just contact me privately and I'll, I'll, I'll work that out with you. But I can also, I can sign them Right. If you know who they're going to, you could actually have me sign them to the different people. Otherwise, I could just sign them, you know, sign them there. Right. So if you really want to make it personal, tell me I'm getting 10 and then send me a message. Say, hey, sign this to Debbie, sign this to Judy, sign this to Bob and, you know, whatever. Yeah. We can do that. What a great what a great idea to much better than bringing in a dozen donuts. 
Yes. And at 10 books is $225. You're looking at $2250. You get one sale from all 10 of those. It was a home run, right? Yeah. But you get one sale from each of them, even better. Yeah, for sure. So there you go. Okay. So let's so, get back to the discount code. Yes. Yeah, so discount code. Um, the, uh, the, the discount code, I actually had it back before here. There we go. So DJNTV. So on the shop, put in the coupon code DJNTV and you will get that uh, free shipping again to Australia, to Europe, to Canada, Mexico, Italy, Portugal. I will have to add that for you, but uh, yes, I, I, I can do that. I probably skip them and uh, maybe I'm profiling, but I probably skip them because it's not in Portuguese, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, I do have my original book in Spanish, but not uh, this one's not in not in Spanish. It's also the original book is on audio. If you really prefer audio and you don't have the book, you can get shut up and sell more. It is the original version, so it does have references to the other categories. Okay, and so, then something else for you, John. Uh, hang on, Alan. Um, we got people from uh, you know you mentioned Mexico. You just mentioned that, so uh, they're good. Uh, yep. South. Uh, South Africa. I've got uh, we've got a couple of regular, uh, and one of them's with us tonight, and is asking if you ship to South Africa. Um, we can do that. Okay, I, I, I will have to uh, contact. I have to put Alan. that on. So you know what? We'll, I'm going to show you something else here, and then as we keep talking, I will add South Africa, <laughs> and I will add Portugal in. Uh, I would just take it off screen share, so you don't have to watch. <laughs> <we> do that. <laughs> That's quite all right. Quite all right. We're we're doing well as long as but they I, know I, that it can I happen. I did mention the workshops. Yes. And and so what I want to do, uh, just as courtesy to to you and your listeners, because you're, you're always so good to me here. Uh, I do have workshops coming up. This is a lead conversion workshop. So if you're getting ghosted on leads and you want to know how to respond better and, and get better conversion, you can get 20% off. Just use this. And John, I think I sent you an email with these codes. So you can you can post this up there the, as you've been sharing there. I've been sh I've been sharing them to all the chats. Uh, so terrific. So uh, the bit.ly lead uh, link here, DJ leads that will apply the DJ's rule coupon code. Do you like my coupon code? DJ yeah, like that. There you I go. like that. Uh, that will apply it. And then I have a, uh, a group website review session coming up on 24th of August. Uh, same thing over there. Same code, but it's a different bit.ly link over there. So bit.ly slash DJ websites that will get you. 20% uh, off that one as well. And then if you don't get my monthly articles, they're totally free. Uh, just go to connectwithallenberg.com, sign up. The one coming out this week again is called It's Only Like Ground. It's Only Groundhog Day If You Let It Be because um, every day kind of feels the same, but it's not. So so there you go. So I'm going to, I'll come back and share, but let's, uh, did we get any questions as you're doing that? I, I'm going to go in the, and... The uh, <clears throat> locations are the big things that just all of a sudden popped up where people were, Throwing, throwing up their uh, location. Throwing their countries from, up, huh? Yeah, throwing countries up. So, so okay. that's that's great. Uh, I'm going to add that as we're talking. So yep, keep talking. Let's let's get some questions in in the chat uh, on a, pretty much Facebook or YouTube. You should be able to go and see the live chat right now. And in that, all the links that we've talked about and the dis the information on the discount code, it's all there. Go click on those and go check those out. All right. So I'm going. So we to have everything coupons. up I there. Go to settings, shipping. I didn't price out the shipping here, so I hope I'm not shooting myself in the foot. But Workshop. I'm going to add, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to add Portugal, Port Portugal, Portugal. Here we go. And I want to do. I'm going to do a flat rate there. I have to put in a rate so it can become zero. Then <laughs> mm -hmm. make it all happen. Yes. Yeah, so the regular rate was going to be uh, nine dollars ninety five cents per order, but that same code will work for free shipping. So Portugal is added and we needed South Africa, right? Yep. That was the, that was the other one. Right. That, uh... ZA, right? <laughs> South Africa. I did not price out any African ones. So I'm really shooting myself in the foot here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put this in here. And save. Okay. Any other countries? That those I, are the, I think those are the ones. I don't know if I've seen any then that you haven't mentioned. Yeah. So I have um, Italy was already in here. Portugal is in here. India, Mexico, Greece, Italy, France, UK, Ireland, Canada, <laughs> Australia, US. I did not put in New Zealand. I might as well just add New Zealand um, too. So there's a question about uh, for the rescheduled um, Maryland Mastermind Day. Yes. Is, was there a code for that that uh, people should be using? There is not a code, but let me get you a link. Let me go to the... Oh, Zimbabwe. 
um, is one. Zimbabwe. Wow. I, I really should price that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ZW, I guess, is what the. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm probably going to get hammered on that. Let me see. Let me go over here and chat and everyone. All right. There is the Maryland mastermind. Okay. Okay. I'll copy that. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Oh, no, no. What am I on here? I'm on. Did I put a country standard ship? A oh, local post. Local post. Who was this for? Oh, I was adding New Zealand. That's right. I was in the middle of New Zealand. There we go. What is the middle of New Zealand? Is that uh, Auckland or is it Queensland? Where is that? <laughs> Boy. There we go. Wellington? All right. Wellington, yeah, yeah, Wellington. Well, yeah, Wellington. That's the capital, isn't it? Wellington. Is that in the north? Uh, the north half. Oh, I don't remember. Auckland is the South Island, isn't it? I don't. Remember. I've got. Maybe? I've got a friend who's in in Wellington, so that's where. <laughs> that begins okay. At, begins at end because you start looking at it, it's like, oh, I wish I really could go there, and then I know I don't have a month of time to go there. So then I okay. Just, all right. So ask the Zimbabwe. Whoever's listening from Zimbabwe, give us your postal code. And I can, I'm going to just get myself a, a, a shipping rate here to see if yeah. I should tell Mark, you to go to Amazon. <laughs> Mark, Mark, can, uh, Mark can pop that up there if, uh, if he can here. All right. I'm just putting in here. I'm just and again, putting... there's a 30 second delay, so it's going to take a, okay. take a bit. Um, That's okay. Yeah. Uh, Zim, Zimbabwe does come up here. Ship two. All right. <clears throat> All right, as soon as I have a, you know what I can do? I can just, this is what I've been doing when I've been trying to figure it out. I just pull up a map of the country, and grab zoom in. So if I zoom in and I go in here to um, uh, Harare, which is uh, the uh, capital, here's the National Art Gallery, grab the address. Wow. Park Lane, Harare. Wow, that's, oh, there's got to be, here it is. Yeah, that's Harare is what they just mentioned. There's no postal codes. <clears throat> Uh, well, he asked, he asked one here, 52GX plus 2G. Five, two, wow. 52GX plus 2G. 52GX plus 2G. Okay. <laughs> See what my cost is. Yes, Zimbabwe will work. All right. I'm going to add that in right now. Excellent. All right. Add region. It actually costs... I think less to ship there than to ship to Mexico. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> that crazy. So again, <clears throat> the links with all the information for getting the books, those are in the chat. You guys can just go scroll back up and find those links. And then the workshop links are also in the chat with uh, promo code for the workshop DJs. And that's plural rule. If you use the link that I gave you, the Bitly links, it'll apply the discount automatically. Okay, so excellent. So that, I was going to say you didn't have the the uh, in there, but yeah, so it's yeah, already applied. It, that's going to apply excellent. it automatically because the whole the regular link is just way too long there. So, <laughs> all right. So if there's any other countries, put them in. And I can I can add those in I now. But I did I, add I, South Africa, I did add Zimbabwe, I did add Portugal. Um, I think we're good. You think we're good? But any any questions? I think that's that's about it. I think you got some folks who are wanting to go and and uh, they thought that I customized for the DJ idea was pretty cool. So that, well, uh, that you. got, that got some really uh, neat responses there when you, when you introduced that. So uh, that, you know, that the, the, my whole thing with, with any industry. And again, I've been around the industry a long time. You and I know each other a long time. The, the more I can do to support the industry, the more it helps my business, mm -hmm. but I do it in that order. Um, I, I've had people approach me and like, Helen, I have an idea. It's going to make you a lot of money. I'm like, that's great. I'm not interested. And they're like, but you can make a lot of money. I said, you don't know me, right? I don't do things because I'm going to make a lot of money. I do things that support my audience, support my customers. And if they do well, it will come back to me. Yeah. Right. And it's the same thing with what you guys do. You know, once you've been paid, right, you get paid for the job. And I, I get paid before I go to speak, before I do consulting, right? I get paid in advance because I don't want the money to be what we're doing that day. What I want to be doing that day is what we're supposed to be doing, which is providing value to you to give you the results that you want. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the old saying, you know, nobody buys a drill bit because they need a drill bit. Yeah. They buy a drill bit because they need to make a hole. Right? Yes. If you look at that picture I posted earlier today with my 
with my my lights and all my stuff, you'll see that there is a, a board with photos all over it. Yes, I saw that. <clears throat> I needed to make a hole. So I needed a drill bit. So I could put a hanger. So I could hang that cork board. So I could put those photos up. So that I can look up and see my mother who passed away last year. So I can see my father who turned 90 in June. Hmm. So I can see my son who lives in San Francisco. So I can see my son who lives in Pennsylvania. So I can see, I don't usually say this, but my grandson, cause he's damn cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right? But yeah. that's why I needed to make a hole. Right. They need a DJ because they want results. If you sell DJ services, somebody sells it cheaper every day. If you sell your results, they can't get them from anybody else. Mm -hmm. They have to buy them from you and they have to pay your price. Selling your results. Um, one last question. We have to wrap up here, Alan. We're yep. out of time. Somebody was asking if the DJ version will, will be available in audiobook. Probably not anytime soon okay. because my focus is on the, uh, the next book that I'm writing. And because the audiobook is already out there of Shut Up and Sell More, so it's not that different enough for me to put that at the top of the priority list right mm -hmm. now. Um, but I do have people that have bought the audiobook or have already listened to it that we're getting this so they can just go in for the reference and say, okay, I'm going to go to chapter 24 because I want to hear how that's word and I can go look at that here now. Right. So um, I have heard you. I've heard about a few other people today asking about that, but um, I'm just being totally transparent. I'm working on this next book, which five months into this, I thought I would have been done with already. Uh <laughs> it's those, those, those little honeydew <clears throat> list things that you had that you, you know, the pantry, the pantry it, just doesn't happen by itself. What about the, the, the paint cans? The paint cans? Did you see the paint cans? I don't know if I saw the paint cans. So, all right. So real quick, my wife should have been a, an interior decorator. She's so creative and she, she's made jewelry and she does all kinds of creative stuff. Mm -hmm. She doesn't do it for business. She just likes doing it. Right. And she will buy a can of spray paint because she'll see something in the house or something in a store and go, huh, I like that, but I don't like the color. There you go. Well, that pantry, yeah. you know, the food would, right was spray paint. It, it, it was like she was a graffiti artist. It was, it was crazy. So I said, I got to do something with these cans. And she's like, no, 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 it's fine. I was like, no, no, no. I, but if I take the cans away, I can make a pantry, right? So if you look at the pantry, the follow-up to that, or the might've been the precursor to that, was I made a rack for her paint cans out of only materials that were in the garage. The only thing I bought, I bought two dowels for about a dollar each. Mm -hmm. To and you'll see why when you see it. And remember the uh, the Crayola crayon box, like with sixty four crayons in it. Sure. And and you could it. They were kind of staggered, right? Right. You had a, the one behind it, and then the one behind it, mm -hmm. the one behind it. So I made a rack where the cans are on an angle, and you can see all the covers as you go up and it's on the back of the door to the pantry. Oh, no. So I when you open the there. pantry door, you'll see the spray paint and you can just grab the can that you want there and, and take it. And it's full. I mean, it's just, it's <laughs> full of spray paint. <laughs> you think she was out tagging railroad cars, you know, <laughs> what she's doing here, but that was another DIY project. And what, what I was, I was proud about a couple of things with that, but one was like, it cost me, like a dollar or two because we had all the materials there. Um, and it, it's just, yeah, it, it came out, it came out very cool, but the, the but the, the pantry was, you know, just another one of those things early on in the lockdown, we're just making projects. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, we didn't need the pantry in there. We have a pantry. This was the overflow pantry. <laughs> ah, okay. <clears throat> so, but you know, when you can buy stuff in bulk and it's cheaper, so go buy it. But then all of a sudden your pantry's full, right? Very so, quickly. Yeah, like in my attic, we have toilet paper and paper towels because early on it's like, oh, they're selling it. Oh, grab a roll, right? Grab, grab, a, <laughs> grab a package. Yeah, yeah we're, we're now stocked up. So we're it's, it's crazy. For the next couple of, yeah. but, but there you go. But the, 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 the pantry, the paint cans. But if you can't find it, let me know. It is on the someplace on my Facebook page. Um, but otherwise, actually, if you go into my, I guess it would be in my gallery or something, yep, but yep, otherwise I, I could send you a picture of that. Yeah, I'll have to, the, I'll have to uh, look for that and check that out. Cause I want to, got to watch a couple of those, uh, the, the <clears throat> piano. Uh, I, I did not see any of the, the duets or, or, uh, yeah, the, the one with Jim Sarone was, was, was a lot of fun. Uh, let me just go real quick here. If I have DIY, I'll save you the, save you the look and 
here it is. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, the, the spray paint rack. <laughs> the spray paint rack. Uh, no, I there it is. See that. <laughs> and that's it's just on the it's just on the back of a door. Yep. With all that stuff there. That's what it looks like. Empty. Yep. Um, and that and that's it. That yep. that's it. Quick and easy to I, access. Quick and easy. I it just did. I I made the shelves did on the angles over there. Mm -hmm. That was the door before. <laughs> and it used to have this, which was a shoe rack that yep. we had the paint cans in. Yep. But there were so many that they were actually on the shelves where we made into the pantry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did any of them? That's funny. There you Alan, go. We got to wrap up here, my friend. Thank you much yes. for being on. Uh, again, gang, the links are in the chat. You guys can go there. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to Alan. There it is right there. ShopAllenBerg.com. Use the coupon code DJNTV, and you will be able to get yourself in with free shipping on the books. Right. We'll be back. To Zimbabwe and South Africa. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much across the globe. That's right. And if you have any questions, reach out to Alan. You can catch him out at his website. Uh, there's His links are all over to reach out yeah. to him there. So, Thank you, John. Thank you much, Alan. We'll be back in about two or three minutes here. We're going to be a few minutes late with our second show tonight, but Dan and I will be back uh, talking a little bit for the parents in the crowd of how to handle our business and our distant learning we may be doing this fall. Thanks again, Alan. Thank you. Bye-bye.